So let's get into the computer here. This is taken from NBC Los Angeles. It says Team USA stars were drug tested after winning Olympic gold, Anthony Edwards claims. Steph Curry's legendary performance closing out the 2024 Paris Olympics was so impressive that the Warriors superstar immediately was subjected to a drug test following Team USA's unforgettable 98-87 win over France earlier this month. During a seminar at Fanatics Fest, Durant and Edwards sat down for a conversation on the boardroom. Detailing their strange experience following the American emphatic victory that saw the trio of NBA stars get drug tested. After the gold medal, me and him, KD, had a, what do you call it? A drug test, Edwards said. We couldn't really celebrate in the locker room for real because me, him and Steph had to take like a drug test or something. Curry torched France with four three-pointers in the final three minutes of regulation stamping Team USA's gold medal bid, securing his own Olympic immortality in the process. Curry's epic Olympics finale was preceded by an incredible 36-point performance against Serbia to keep the American gold medal dreams alive, with, with the star point guard's legendary back-to-back -back showings being so impressive that they apparently warranted a drug screening. The unexpected drug, drug test are a memory that Curry, Durant, and Edwards can look back on with a laugh for the rest of their lives. All right, then. Okay. So, how is this? How was Steph Curry's performances in two games so impressive, so awe-inspiring, so dumbfounding leaving these guys bewildered to the point where curry was the first to be drug tested but yet he was an mvp i mean these performances were so great over the course of two games that the officials are like what in the hell what did we just say? it's possible this guy can be on something that's why we got to drug test him right away and let's put in KD, I guess, because KD had that streak of, I guess, what was it again? I think it was the first game he came off the bench. I don't remember how many points it was. He scored maybe 14 points, and he hit, like, every single shot in the whole first half. I guess because they saw that, they were like, what the hell is this? All right, and then Anthony Edwards, I suppose, because I think he had led the team in scoring, something like that. He had the most points. I believe that's what it was. Right? But where was LeBron? I mean, where was the MVP of the whole tournament? Right, so this is this is NBC reporters talking about how performances were so impressive, but yet the MVP of the whole tournament was not drug tested. Why is this? This is kind of strange to me. It's either something fishy going on. Or he really was not the MVP. Because if his play was so impressive, his play was so, you know, otherworldly, better than these guys, why was he not drug tested? Right? Or was his play not that great? Y'all just gave him the MVP because y'all wanted to give him the MVP, which is what I think happened. Right? Steph Curry had an all-time performance, all-time performances in two consecutive games, right? And and made this team win, carried this team. He did something that we've never seen before ever happen, and that's why he should have been awarded the MVP. But he was robbed. But this here, all right? They know that they robbed him, and this is the evidence to prove. That he was robbed. Because why would you test this guy and not test the, the MVP of the whole thing? <laughs> All right, you know that LeBron did not play as good as him. Or else he'll be tested. Because from the looks of it, at least offensively, these were the top three guys. Or these guys had their moments, top three moments, you know, in the whole thing. There's no real memorable moment from LeBron. 
But these guys had the moments that we remember. The dunk by Anthony Edwards, just overall scoring. KD coming out and just destroying them the first half of that game. I can't remember who it was against or whatever, but we all remember it because it was like, what the hell? KD's first game, he comes out and he's dominating like this, right? Um, so they know what they did, and this is an admission of that. Sometimes that admission is not words. Sometimes that admission is action, and this is what it is, all right? But I just want to show you guys this little thing here because the gig is up, and that's about it. So until next time.